When you think of future Martian habitats, what do they look like? Maybe a squat, half-buried, windowless dome, or a glorified fallout shelter? But how about this? This is Marsha, designed by AI Space Factory. It has windows, multiple floors, private rooms, and even a skylight. But best of all, NASA loves it. The rocket scientists and engineers at NASA are pros when it comes to landing robots on Mars. And they're figuring out how to get humans there next. But when it comes to living on Mars, well, they decided to ask the public for help. In the 2010s, NASA launched its 3D printed Habitat Challenge. Over the years, it's held multiple stages of the challenge that started with virtual designs and has since progressed to full-fledged 3D printed models. Challengers compete not only for bragging rights, but for, you know, money. And in 2019, first prize was half a million dollars. Challengers were judged on multiple criteria, including the material they used, the structure's durability, and how airtight it was. After four days of building, testing, and judging, NASA announced the winner. First place goes to Team AI Space Factory. So let's take a closer look at Marsha. For starters, the construction material is made out of a basalt composite, something no other competitors used, and the team says could be easily made on Mars. That's because Mars has basalt speckled all across its surface, thanks to volcanoes that erupted there hundreds of millions to billions of years ago. And once you have a good source of basalt, it's mixed with some plant-based polymers, which, when you're on Mars, you'd have to grow. After that, all you need is a robot to 3D print the house, other stuff like windows that can't be printed on site, and time. This prototype is only a third of the size that the team envisions for Mars. If you had a person, they'd be about that tall. And it alone took 30 hours to complete from start to finish. The team had to step in and help the machine a few times, but in the future, they plan to make the entire process fully autonomous. Because in the real world, there won't be many people on Mars to help. Plus, the team says this basalt composite is an effective shield against the high energy radiation at Mars' surface. And that is very important. Because a person living on Mars unprotected would receive about 5,000 times more radiation in their lifetime than if they had lived on Earth. That's more than enough to cause cancer and would almost surely result in premature death from radiation poisoning. Now, some experts argue that any freestanding building on Mars is a bad idea, specifically because of the high radiation problem. Which is why some concepts proposed for Martian habitats are underground and look a lot like nuclear fallout shelters here on Earth. But Marsha's designer says that homes above ground are essential to the long-term success of life on Mars. Because of the hostile environment, people associate bunkers with good ideas, but I think one thing Marsha does is ask the question, isn't psychological health also mission critical? And he isn't the only one worried about psychological health. For years, NASA has been testing how humans withstand long periods of isolation. For example, it requires astronauts in space to complete regular psychological tests that monitor their mood. They also conduct experiments on the ground, like the High Seas Study, short for Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation where a small crew lives in Mars-like homes for usually eight months at a time and face many of the same physical and psychological challenges of living on Mars. But compared to the high seas living quarters, Marsha looks different. For one, it has multiple floors, each with a distinct purpose. The first contains a wet lab and space for EVA prep. One floor up, the kitchen and dry lab. On the third floor, a hydroponic garden, bathroom, and sleeping quarters. And above that, a gym and recreation center. Not to mention, there's multiple windows throughout the home. Windows are key um, to have a relationship to the environment. Uh, the landscape changes on a daily basis, and it really would help to 
uh, mitigate monotony, which is known as a major psychological threat. Wow, you're probably saying, that place is really nice. I'd stay there even if it were on Earth. Well, buddy, you're in luck. AI Space Factory is taking their concept and building it here. What we've developed so far, printing at scale and basically taking that application directly to you know, an hour north of New York where people can go and experience this new type of habitat. It's called Terra. Not only does it look like Marsha, it will be made out of Marsha. After the NASA competition, AI Space Factory broke their model down and will reuse it to build Terra. It hopes to finish by fall 2019 and soon after, you might be able to book your stay. But Terra is more than just a futuristic cabin. In order to get to the next step of building on the moon or Mars, we need more practice, right? And, and so this, this is an opportunity for us to refine our technology, do more prints, increase our level of autonomy, solve some of the problems that we found in, in our NASA print and push it to the next step.